So today in Glasgow, I'm on a whiskey tour. And also a tour of the city. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm actually going home today from Glasgow, but I've got an interesting day coming up. Um, I'll tell you what, I've woken up this morning feeling happy. Pre-season has gone extremely well so far for Antonio Conte and these Tottenham Hotspur players. Um, you could just see yesterday, all of those players on the bench, we have a real strength, we have real depth within this squad. And, uh, you know, the way that we turned that game around yesterday, two great finishes from Harry Kane, delighted with the performance. Antonio Conte said pretty much the same. He is delighted with the performance, delighted with the attitude shown by these players in training and uh, during pre-season. And, uh, you know, exciting times ahead. And, of course, we lifted a trophy yesterday. Exciting times. So this morning, I am at Clydeside Distillery to try a few of the Scottish whiskies. So I'm now with Spurs fan Paul. Paul, did you enjoy the game yesterday? Yeah, it was good. It was good fun. Uh, it was good to see everyone. All the new signings playing on the bench. Good to see how he scored a couple of goals. Yeah. It was good, yeah. How are you feeling about next season? Are the trophies coming? <laughs> yeah, can't wait. I think it's going to be a good season. Um, it was really impressive, everyone that came on yesterday. Yeah. You know, so we've got to, we've got to aim for a trophy and talk more again. See how, see how it goes. Now it is 10 a.m. and we are booked on a tour to taste some whiskies. You're looking forward to it? Not really, not at this time of the morning. But, um, yeah. It was you that booked it well, this time. I know, I know. I know. Are you a big whiskey fan? Things. I am, yeah. If I'm not at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, I don't mind the whiskey though. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it'll be good. Thank you, Paul. Enjoy it. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. That smells good. If you've ever cut a beat on it or anything. Right, so this is what we're here for. The whiskey tasting. Because you're adding different sort of cask influence from that bourbon and from that sherry. 
So when you're ready, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, how, long that, how long does this whisk stay in uh, Oloroso casks? Uh, I believe for the three years. I think both of them went to the same Just in Oloroso. Uh, so 70% of it comes from Burma Berber. And then 30% of it comes from the Oloroso. So maybe six, seven months. So they're, they're matured separately. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, they stay in um, Bourbon casks mm -hmm. first. Or maybe two years, two years and a half. Well, what I think what we do is we actually have two separate spirits, and then we marry it together. Yeah. Uh, so it's not uh, the spirit didn't spend two years in just one cask, and then that same spirit was. Yeah, perfect. Are you reading the bottle? From you? Honey the and fresh <laughs> exactly, honey. Yeah, it's a very nice, sweet, delicate honey flavor. Maybe not smell. Oh, that smells good. All right, I won't keep you any longer. Go ahead and try a little sip. <laughs> How have you managed to sneak two glasses? No, it's easy. Cheers. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh, my goodness. Cheers. Water. All right, so what you might be noticing already is a bit of smoke has entered the room. Yeah. I, I, so, yeah. I, I guess you can't mention the sauce. What's that? The, I, I guess you can't. And now, much like the first one, if you said something like honey or anything like that, I'd say you're 100% right. But is anybody getting any sort of smells off of this whiskey? Any sort of interesting? Or so a good tour, a couple of whiskies drunk. This one, I'll tell you what, how strong is this? If I can turn it around, very, very strong whiskey. Very, very smoky. So Paul, what do you think of the whiskies? Yeah, it's good. I've, I've preferred the uh, single. single yeah, you can't even remember, can you? I can't remember. I wasn't really listening. I can't do this. What did you think, <laughs> what did you think of the smoky one? <laughs> So I'm now a Spurs fan, Tim. Tim, before we talk about the football, what do you think of the tour? Yeah, good. I'd recommend it. anyone to come. We get Celtic in the Champions League, <laughs> pop in a Clyde side brewery, and uh, yeah, yeah, very good. Well so, worth. Educational, good fun, and a little yeah. nip of whiskey to get you on your way at 10 in the morning. They were quite strong, weren't they? Especially they were. at 10 in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoky one, not for me, but uh, we'll buy a bottle, uh, get yeah. us on our way. Yeah. Very good. What have you made of Tottenham's pre-season so far? And what do you think Tottenham can achieve next season? Uh, I've just seen the one uh, game yesterday. I thought they looked uh, not a complete match fitness, but um, Bentecar looked the quality player he is. Uh, Romero um, was just unbelievable. Is there a better yeah. defender in Europe? I, I, I don't know. I'm not massive on European players, but we've got an absolute star in our hands there. And, we, uh, and, and Spence came on and didn't have an awful lot to do, but um, he looked quality as well. So, yeah, I mean, where can we go? In um, 35, 36 years being a season ticket holder, I think of the most enthusiastic ever. So, um, yeah, good times ahead, I think. Reason, reason to be cheerful. Are the trophies coming? I'm very pessimistic, but I'll say yes. Yeah, I think so. Love Great chance. Great chance. Love it. We'll enjoy the season, Tim. Thanks so, so Thank much. You, Chris. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. So definitely worth a tour here if uh, you are visiting Glasgow. £15 for the tour and well worth it. They actually give you um, the whiskey glass at the end of the tour as well as a free gift. So uh, I thoroughly recommend this tour. So outside the famous Armadillo building here in Glasgow, I'm just about to get on a bus and do the sightseeing tour. So I'll be seeing a lot of Glasgow today. It's raining again here though in Glasgow. I'm not sure about sitting at the top. So the first stop is the Riverside Museum right next to the River Clyde. It is free to get in here and it is a hyper modern museum with collections of historic vehicles and state of the art interactive displays. Let's go inside and have a look.
I tell you what, it really does prove when you come to cities like this, like Glasgow, um, you know, you can do things like this, interesting places to visit, free of charge. I can't believe that this is actually free. Um, somewhere like London, you'd probably pay about £15 to get in somewhere like this, if not more. So this is the tall ship, also known as Glen Lee, and it is also a lucky ship. If you do visit here, allow plenty of time because there is so much to see and do here and uh, there is something for all of the family. So uh, a great place to visit and as I said earlier, free of charge as well. Unbelievable. So off to the next location. Now on the top of the bus, yes, it's still raining here in Glasgow. Um, but this place, as I said, well worth a visit. This building here is the University of Glasgow. So this is the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. You will also get in here free of charge. This is a very, very popular place to go in Glasgow. So next stop is the Willow Tea Rooms. This is an extremely popular place for tourists to visit. Right in the center here of Glasgow. Well, I certainly didn't expect to see this in the uh, center of Glasgow here. So the Willow Tea Rooms here was actually designed by Charles McIntosh and this place has been open for business since October 1903. So a lovely cup of tea, looking forward to my sandwiches arriving in a minute. So I am now at George Square and this is home to the headquarters of Glasgow City Council and boasts an important collection of statues and monuments including those dedicated to Robert Burns, James Watt, Sir Robert Peel and Sir Walter Scott.
So George Square is very easy to get to. You'll see on the left hand side, you've got the station Glasgow Queen Street. So this is Glasgow Green, one of the city's oldest parks. So that is the tour over and I am now on my way home. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and I will see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.